previously on the Ultimate Iron Man series. After years of preparation, we finally kicked off the sub-series. 1,000 Chambers of Zarek or Twisted Bow, whichever comes first. In the first part of the series, we managed to complete 100 KC, learn the ins and outs of solo raids, and we managed to get three purple chests. It would be pretty awesome if this series turned out to be a two-parter and we got Spoon the Tebow at a modest 100 to 300 KC or so. Only one way to find out. One hundred one KC double herb drop. That's what we're here for. Solid raid, man. Twenty-seven minutes. Is that a PB? No, twenty-six is a PB. We'll take those herbs every day of the week. Hundred and six, man. Looking for a purple sometime soon. That'd be pretty nice. Hey, we get the elite clue though and some shit. Oh, but the elite clue step is not one we can do. Hundred and eight KC. Hundred and nine KC. Hundred and sixteen KC. Dark relic number twelve. Twelve, I think. Also, something I started doing was, uh, after I come back here and pick up all of my potions that I didn't use throughout the raid, rather than running to the end of the raid to, like, finish it, I'll just, uh, I'll just log out. And then when we log back in, we're just at the start. So it saves, like, 30 seconds every raid, which kind of adds up over time. <sighs> 120. Oh my god! Yes, dude! Oh, we got a purple. Oh. Yes, dude. Okay, I think our last purple was what, like a hundred, like 45 KC. So that's what, 79 KC dry. Oh my God, it could be anything, dude. Okay, as long as it's not a prayer scroll, I think we'll be happy. First purple in a week. This is what my entire week has built up into. Let's see what we get. Yeah, that is, that's nice, man. I don't know, 15 mil is pretty good. Oh, huh, let's keep going, I guess. I, I honestly, I'll take that, dude. That's like three bonds or something. So yeah, I can't really complain. Extra spare scroll. Back to back? No. Nice drop though. Sort of confused. Uh, never seen this crab's layout in my entire life. And I'm at like 100 raids. I have like 200 raids on the main. So not really sure what to make of it. Sometimes you get the rare situation where you don't even have to lure all of them. And I fucked it up. So scratch that. I'm not sure how these rune arrows are so cheap. Looks like the GE price is 37 each. That's kind of weird. Shop price is 40 GP each. So you could earn like half a bond over the course of two weeks just buying them on the GE passively and selling them here. So as I've been raiding, one of the things that I've noticed is that in terms of supplies the first thing we're going to be running out of is the brews only have 400 left i could probably squeeze out a 100 or 200 maybe 300 raids out of those at this point but one of the things i've decided to do in terms of maximizing our brew stack is when we have something like mud dials in the first room generally i'll just go ahead and suicide you know i won't i won't be chugging brews while i'm trying to cut this meat tree down in solar raids you pretty much have to cut down the meat tree and it does take a while it doesn't give any points so the way i see it i'm essentially trading like 30 seconds of running back for like one to 200 hp worth of bruise it's like a that's like a really good trade-off there so we came back and now the tree is dead we're at full hp we can go ahead and kill the boss you know i would just go grind out like thousand or two bruise and then we'll be set for life essentially but i do want to get as many chambers of zarek completed before the blowpipe nerf as possible ideally i want to get the dragon hunter crossbow or obviously the twisted bow and then i won't really be affected by the blowpipe nerf as much so ideally the situation is that we want to extend this stack of bruise as much as we can and i feel like if we play optimizing around the strategy of extending these bruise we might just be able to get the twisted bow or dragon hunter crossbow within a reasonable amount of kills 130 kc elite clue and some other stuff nice ah and we get the wilderness resource area clue so that's gonna be a drop unfortunately but that's okay shout out to correct yak i see what you did there for not swarming on my free 100k worth of diamonds on the ground here he's standing on there how is he standing on there guys i am gonna die i don't i don't know how i'm supposed to lure him i don't know which side he's even rendered on i guess he's rendered on the bottom side huh i don't even know what's happening right now yeah he is not coming to get us so I'm not sure where he's rendered. Should be here, but it doesn't seem to be. Okay, whatever. He's dead now. So back on track. 134 KC. Double herb drop. Yay. Torstals and Toad Flex. That's going to be bruised in super combats. Absolutely beautiful. 137 KC. No purple, unfortunately, but we do get the white light, which means we are guaranteed some loot. Get the elite clue and the dark relic on the same chest. Never had that happen before. Uh, That's going to be our 15th or 16th dark relic. Another 13.5K herbal XP. 
XP, meaning we are now 100k XP away from the level, which is really, really nice. And we'll go see if we can do this elite clue. And we hit the King Black Dragon step once again. Five steps in, that's kind of painful, but we do have to drop it, unfortunately. 142 KC, get the rubies and the mithril ore. We definitely will take that. And in fact, that's actually gonna give us something pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty neat. Level 95 crafting from crafting the rubies that we got from Chambers of Zarek. That is the level for Zenite bracelets, which we already have. But hey, you know what? That means we can plus five boost for level 100 crafting, which doesn't unlock anything. So subscribe. Oh my God. Oh my God. Come on, dude, please. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh. All right, there's the raid completed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I died and then the overload like ran off at the same time. I don't even know, dude. 162 KC. Oh! oh my God, you guys are going to purple. Oh, okay. Well, I feel really lightheaded all of a sudden. Holy shit, okay. Get some nice angles, get up in here, get up in there. Anything other than a prayer skull would be nice. All right. Dexterous Prayer Scroll. We'll take it. We'll take it, man. That is our fourth dex in a row. <laughs> wow. Okay. I don't know, man. That's that's okay with me. That's a 14 mil drop. So that'll be a 14 mil that we didn't have before. At least we got the purple, man. That's pretty cool. Purples are so nice to see. There's like an entire minute of like anticipation and then the inevitable letdown. <laughs> First purple on stream though. So that's pretty cool. Oh, not again. No, 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 no. Oh, calculated, man. 164 KC. We get the double herb drop, the best non-purple drop you can get. If we can get this hit, it'll be my best tecton ever. Yeah, one minute, 45 second tecton. Easily the best, fastest tecton I've ever had in my life. 175 KC, we get the elite clue, rubies and quirms. All right, well, we managed to get an elite casket from the chambers of Zarek. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Hey. That is a mimic, our second mimic on the account. I guess we should go gear up for that, right? Yeah, let's go do it. All right, let's enter into the fight. Guff setup, but I think it should be fine because we're like pretty much max stats, right? If we die though, we are risking our entire, everything that's in Hespori, which is like a Blade of Salvador rune pouch. So it's a potentially like a 300 mil wipe if we die. Can we teleport out of here? Maybe this is like a terrible idea. I feel like it's probably fine though. Generally, like if I DC right now, I lose everything in, in Hespori. <laughs> I just did not really, uh... oh my God. The fuck was that? Screw this. Whoa. How much HP did I just get to right there? Jesus. So I was a bit distracted as I was streaming during this mimic kill. I may have chanced the Hespori death bank. I'm not really sure. I do know that I'm pretty grateful to be alive. And I tried to go in for a second attempt. <sighs> Man, it's fucking risking this shit. I don't want to be at 15 HP. I've, uh, okay. I'm not going to do those anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, but we uh, did complete the mimic, so. All right, the moment of truth, was it worth it? <laughs> Death runes are good. I don't know, man. That's a uh, reasonable loot. Definitely not worth risking the Blade of Salador though, and the rune pouch, and like 2,000 super combats. Uh, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go throw those in looting back. We'll get back to raiding. We got a new raid scouted. Well, there is our first official ever f level, I think, in the in the Chambers of Zerk. We got 67 fire making from Lighten the Brazier here. So that's pretty neat. That is our lowest skill, so it makes sense. That is a wide light. 180 KC though, another 10 KC milestone. We get the Elite Clue, Dynamites, and well, we get the Charge, a Dragonstone Jewelry thing again. So that's gonna be a drop, unfortunately, but that is all right with me. Hey, that's pretty neat. Level 89 woodcutting, just chopping some AFK teaks while we're editing the next video. There are a lot of uh, saplings in the Chambers of Zarek that require 89 woodcutting to chop, so that'll be pretty nice. 198 KC, pulling the Elite Clue with two herb drops, you love to see it. Well, here is an enchanted dragonstone jewelry step. That's the only Sherlock step we can't do. And uh, I've gotten that the last two to three times, I'm pretty sure. So that's gonna be a drop. Uh, it's like a one in 25 chance or something to get that. We shall carry on. Elite clue, that's back to back elite clue. And some torstals, amazing. Well, we got the crafter nature rune step. I always hate doing this, but I generally will do it. There is an elite casket. Let us see what we shall get. Wow, another mimic. That's back to back mimics. The last mimic, <laughs> I don't even want to open this, dude. The last mimic we did, we almost died and we almost wiped. Uh, 
this, do we do this mimic? I think I'm gonna do it anyway. Cool, we have three KC at the mimic. That is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and open up the mimic. What do we get? Some bonus blood runes and some other stuff. That is a, uh, oh, we'll take it, man. 200 kills at the chambers of Zarek. And we get a white light, Rainer Weed and Mahogany Planks. So it looks like for some reason, the Rune Light Tracker only tracked 194 kills. But for anyone who's curious and what you might expect in 200 kills, we got 18 Dark Relics, 9 Torn Prayer Scrolls, 15 Elite Clues, Arcane 4 decks, and uh, lots of herbs, planks, and runes. All right, so we finally ran out of darts at 202 KC. So I suicided all my stuff to Hespori. Gonna come over here and grab the Addy Ore. Looks like that's gonna be exactly 16,000 darts, which is like pretty much the max maximum amount that you can fill in the blowpipe so that's pretty convenient we'll grab the coins and the ice gloves so we can go start the lengthy process of converting these all and since we use the uh, blast furnace as our rune bar bank we'll have to go ahead and clear this out so no more quick easy rune axes or rune crossbows wait a sec how have I never noticed this before? If you go to the Blast Furnace, there's the uh, Gravekeeper Random Event over there. There's like all kinds of stuff. I guess I never used GPU mode, but I got a new computer so I can use it now. That looks like the area under Sleep, the town of Sleep. I wonder what this is. Interesting, it kind of looks like LMS or something. And three, four hours later, we finish up with the last of the Addy Ore. Kind of surprised how fast it was. Pretty much the same amount of time as the Myth Ore. Slightly slower, but not too much slower. So pretty happy with that. Hey, 88 Fletching, man. That is pretty, pretty cool. We do get a decent amount of fletching XP from doing all this. So we're just preparing for the next set of a uh, couple hundred raids or so. Cause I think those 8,000 myth darts lasted us up until 202 KC. So 16,000 Addy darts should probably get us another four or 500, right? Do we get a purple at 204 KC? We do not, but we get the elite clue and the dark relic in the same chest. So that is pretty interesting. If we use this on herb lore. Oh, this is gonna give us 91 herb lore. I guess. <laughs> 91 herb lore. Wow. Pretty sure we got like most of that level. No, like half that level just from the dark relics. Yeah, we've got 19 dark relics. So that's uh, that's like 300,000 herb lore experience. So we get the wilderness resource area, which is gonna be not completable. So that's gonna be a drop, unfortunately. But we shall carry on with the grind. That is a one minute, 30 second tecton, wow. Another solid raid, 30,000 points, 32 minutes. Oh my God, hell yes. Oh my God, it's been like, what was it? 165 was our last purple dude. Oh, okay, oh my God. Oh, it's been so long. It's been like five days since I've gotten a purple, man. Oh, yay, it's a purple. Okay, this is purple number six. Oh my god, dude. This is so awesome. Okay. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and open this thing up, man. Yes! Yes! Dude! Oh my god! Hell yes! Oh, oh my god! Ancestral robe top. We just upgraded from the mystic to the ancestral robe top, dude. Oh, oh. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh my god, dude. Ancestral robe top, 216 KC. Holy shit, man. Oh my god, that is so nice. Wow. 59 mil. Dude, it is so rare to get clips for this whole series. We're expected to get one purple every three days. Oh my god. God, dude, we are so sexy. That is so nice. That's like the perfect item. Other than the Tebow and like the Mega Rares, the robe top is like the best thing we could have gotten. Holy shit. Wow. That is, I am totally fucking happy with that, man. We are now at six purples, 216 KC, man. Beautiful. I feel like I've said this like a hundred times now at this point, but the Ancestral is actually storable in the POH. So once we get the full set, we'll be able to store it and take it out as we please. Obviously, I'm not going to put it in right now because if I were to do that, I wouldn't be able to withdraw it until I have the full set. But that does mean we can finally retire the Mystic Robe Top. Man, that is just so nice. Our mage setup does currently still have the legless slot because the Mystic Robe Legs just don't give that much accuracy bonus. But this thing also gives us a max hit, which is just so nice. It gives plus 15 magic bonus over the Mystic Robe Top. Oh my god, that feels so nice. All right, back to back purple. Can we do it? Ah. 
No back to back, unfortunately, but we do have 217 KC for the soul runes and pure essence. All right, gonna go ahead and fill up the trident again. We are now down to 259,000 Zor scales. So we're definitely making a dent in those ever so slowly. All right, raid completed. 227 KC. God. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh. Yay. Yay. We got a purple. Yes, dude. Okay. All right. We got the purple. Oh my god. That is it's just so beautiful. All right. Let's go ahead and open it up. 3, 2, 1. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Dude! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Holy shit! We just got a Kodai! We just got a fucking Kodai insignia! Oh my god, 227kc! Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god! I've never gotten a Mega Rare before. I've never gotten a Mega Rare. Holy shit. Okay, so... <laughs> oh my god. How salty am I that that wasn't a Twisted Bow? Uh... I guess like a little salty. But like... I can't be mad, dude. It's a fucking Kodai. Right? How can you be mad about a Kodai? This is like gonna be so good for so much shit. 15% magic damage boost. Unlimited water runes. Holy shit. I am... <laughs> oh god. Wow. That is fucking sick, dude. Oh my god, that is so that is so nice. I don't I don't even know what to say. Uh 227 KC, seventh purple is a Kodai. So uh yeah, I guess we have to go get the master wand at some point now, because I actually don't have that. And uh I think the looting bag is actually actually so we got one spot free. Okay. Holy shit, man. Fucking pulling the Kodai. Oh god. Alright, well let's uh I guess start up another raid. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Elite Clue and a couple of herbs. Definitely take those. No purple, unfortunately. So we did manage to complete the Elite Clue. Let us see what we get. All right. Uh, we'll take it. Decided to finish the night off with a stream raid. A stream raid. Oh my god. Oh my god. I saw the purple text over your name right on the light and I thought it was... <laughs> 234 KC. No purple, unfortunately. Whoa. Just got teleported into the flame wall. But there's an elite clue and 200 Addy Ore. Wow, that's going to be 2,000 Addy Darts. That is not bad. Well, we ended up giving the Lava Maze step, so that's going to be a big drop, unfortunately. All right, well, we ran out of charges on the Trident, so it is time to go ahead and suicide and re-gear so we can get those Zora Scales out of the looting bag. Now that we have the Ancestral, looks like we'll be getting uh, approximately one or two more raids out of every single Trident that we have, because as I've said a million times, the Trident of the Swamp is currently the only limiting factor for how many raids we can do between suicides so getting that ancestral is pretty pretty nice so i did not get a single clip in the past two days we are now at 250 kc one quarter of the way to the 1000 chambers of zarek goal that's kind of just how it is these days the first part of the subseries was learning the raids the second part was just getting a couple of uniques so i'm not really sure how i'm gonna maintain these videos they might end up coming out a bit slower than usual i think it's a sacrifice i'm willing to make i am really enjoying this grind and i don't think i'm gonna have any problems with doing the full 1000 kc so i don't know when i'll see you guys hopefully it won't be too long and you know if you made it to the end of the video feel free to leave a like it really really helps the channel get recommended and if you don't feel like waiting for the newest video to come out head on over to the Twitch where you can get a piece of the action live. So with that, thank you for watching guys. Stay safe out there. Take care. I love you. Until next time. Bye.